All right, today we're going to be talking about a couple of ESR meters. Uh, ESR stands for um, Equivalent Series Resistance. And this is the 88A model by Electronic Design Specialists. Um, and this one is a, this one's about 250. And this one's about, uh, this one's about 50. That's a MESR-100. Um, there's obviously cons to this one. I really don't see any um, pros to getting this one. This one is an inferior product, but um, I'll go ahead and uh, turn them both on. They boot up about the same period of time. Um, on this one, you have the chart, the uh, uh, microfarads are going to be laid out down here, and then there's the uh, resistance on the side. So the higher it is, the better it is. If it's over, then you got a dead cap and you need to be replacing it. Now, the capacitors, like these guys right here, uh, can be tested in circuit. All right, to, to zero this one out, you want to press it, you want to short the leads together it says zeroing please wait and then it shows you oh, about zero so we're good now just calibrates it and uh, black or red doesn't matter what goes to where so right now it's reading just a sec. so right now it's reading uh, uh, for reference of 25 volt cap electrolytic cap it's good cap with low esr so basically it, it doesn't care what microfarads it is it, it's saying it's a good cap based on this test now on this uh, so on this guy right here if i test the same capacitor so it's going up to yeah, 220, so it's looking good. So that cap is testing good. I'm gonna test a few more here. So this is a good capacitor, a brand new one. It's uh, 1000 microfarad at 25 volts. You wanna make sure these are discharged before. So that's testing good. 1000 kilo, uh, 1000 uh, microfarads. Okay. That's testing good. And with this guy, it's saying good cap with low ESR. So, okay. Now let's go ahead and read a bad cap. Uh, this capacitor, as you can see, is a little domed. And uh, took it off that board. Uh, and this one reads Yeah, oh well, so it's not even, it's not re even picking up that there's a capacitor there. Let's test it with uh, this guy. See, it says over. That little blinking red light tells me that it's identifying it as a bad capacitor. This one's 470. It's also a little domed on top. 470 microfarad, and so let's go ahead and test it out. It's also reading over. Uh, let's test it with this guy as well. And it, this one is telling us the actual resistance is 63 ohms, and it says good if capacitor is 4.7 microfarad or less. And uh, the rating on this thing is 470. So it can be a little tricky because here it's, it, it, it will more tell you just right off the bat if it's good or bad. This one you kind of have to figure out um, based on the, what it tells you. So I went in and tested it actually. I put 12 volts on a, a capacitor and um, the 88A discharged it instantly. Um, before actually doing the test. There's no problem there with the uh, 
MESR 100. It also discharged it, but not quite as quickly. Um, but I wouldn't want to put a lot of, so it does discharge it, but it doesn't char discharge it very quickly. Uh, I wouldn't put a lot of voltage though. You know, I wasn't gonna go up to like, you know, 50 volts or more uh, to test uh, because obviously there's gonna be a limit on how much these will discharge. I've, this one I've had for about five and a half years and I've never discharged a cap. So I know this one's really, could probably take a higher voltage um, than this one guy, This, but I'm not gonna test it out and they don't have it in the specs that I could find. Anyways, um, so as far as these leads, you can see these are, as far as field testing boards, <laughs> it's not, not very convenient. You have to do it like this. We're at a workbench, you know, and plus you gotta make sure that these alligator clips don't touch and they look pretty close to each other and, and then they're kind of slipping off. It's just really garbage. Whoever came up with this is, I, I don't understand that they, they don't field test because when you're in the field, you're working on something, you're going to want it really kind of handy, like to where you don't have to hold on to this or, or lay this flat on it because you're not going to have a table when you're working in the back of a refrigerator. So what I did was, uh, see these leads are real short. I don't like that. I like this one because it has a, a real long lead. In fact, I haven't got a, I haven't tied up. <laughs> so, all right. So, um, so you can see how the long that that is. It's, it's pretty long, long enough for me. That's for sure. So I actually went on, um, I don't know where it was, eBay, Amazon, who knows? Um, I'll get you a link. Uh, and I bought this cause it's really the only tweezers I could find like this. And it came from out of nowhere. Anyways, uh, I'll find out. But you can see they, they pinch. Uh, and, um, but they come with, I'll show you a new set. There's a new set right here. They come with the ends here. They don't fit. Really? Are you kidding me with this type of banana connector? I mean, this is a meter. Why doesn't it take a regular meter lead. I, I, I don't understand that. That's so frustrating for me when people do stupid stuff. Anyways, um, what I ended up doing was buying these and then um, using a box knife and cutting the insulation off. See that right there? So I just cut around there, exposing the lead, and you put it in there. So it was simple enough to re-engineer that, but it just frustrates me when people are People do stuff like that, it's ridiculous. But anyways, the pulse this thing puts out is an alternating current waveform. So since we have these lead, new leads on, we're gonna re-zero it out. Okay, and let's test it out. So there's a new cap, it says good cap with, no, with low ESR. So that's testing good. Another issue also is a power issue. This does not have an auto off on it. Uh, this one doesn't either, but it does have a chime. Every about five minutes, it'll give off a, a chime, this chime right there. Um, and so that'll let you know that it's still on. Then you have to manually turn it off. Um, <clears throat> but with this one, it takes double A batteries and you do have to power it down or else it'll just drain those batteries. So just be aware of that. I'm gonna stick the links for both of them down in the comments. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and, and give me a holler. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.